What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the artifact perks for Season of the Deep. Of course, Season of the Deep will launch this Tuesday, May the 23rd. And yesterday we got to see the artifact perks for the first time. Now, one thing they did announce along with this, instead of having to reset the entire artifact each time you change a build, you will now actually be able to change uh, artifact like different slots so you can do one thing you can take one thing off and apply one more thing so you don't have to redo the entire artifact every time so that's a big plus it's a good quality of life change uh, by being able to just you know take off one thing or two things or whatever you need if you need to just change one or two things out you don't have to reset that entire artifact you can just do one at a time now when it comes to column one we'll have anti-barrier auto rifle unstoppable hand cannon overload scout rifle overload trace rifle and unstoppable glaive of course this will be for the champions and this is a bit different than this previous season we did see scout and auto rifle in this previous season but adding hand cannon trace rifles and glaives into this uh, new season is definitely going to make for some unique builds and unique ways to play some harder in-game content now when it comes to column two we will have authorized mods for arc void strand melee and techno color siphon of course all the energy mod cost of arc void strand and melee will be significantly discounted and for techno color siphon it grants access to helmet armor mods that combine the effects of strand and arc siphon mods so this previous season we had void and strand this season we're going to have uh, strand and arc of course in column three we have improved unraveling which increases the amount of damage dealt by unraveling a target we have deeper origins which greatly improves the benefit provided by the hunger uh, nanotech trace rockets harmonic resonance and noble deed traits we have unto the breach which defeating a void debuff target creates a void breach while your void subclass is equipped we have electric armor stay amplified longer while your arc subclass is equipped and we have thunderous report uh, which is going to be grant bonus arc uh, super damage if cast while critically wounded or while amplified it lasts until the end of the super activation column four will be uh, strand soldier your strand weapons gain unraveling rounds whenever you gain woven mail while your strand subclass is equipped which will be great on a lot of different classes but definitely on the titan if you're using strand overcharged armory weapons with the uh, hunger nanotech trace rockets harmonic resin and noble deed traits will always be overcharged weapons for you when the modifier is active uh, of course the picking up a void breach gives you an overshield or refreshes your existing overshield will be protected breach uh, counter charge gain a stack of armor charge when you stun a champion amped up gain damage resistance while amplified and in column five we have conductive cosmic needle targets affected by strand debuff takes increased damage from arc and void abilities shock and all arc final blows while you are amplified summon a burst of lightning that damage and jolts targets supernova picking up a void breach causes your next source uh, source of void damage to create a large weakening pulse and squad goals performing a finisher while your amplified grants amplified to nearby allies when your arc subclass is equipped performing a finisher while you have woven mail grants woven mail to nearby allies while your strand subclass is equipped and performing a, a finisher while you have devour grants devour to nearby allies when your void subclass is equipped uh, lightning strikes twice after throwing an arc grenade gain increased grenade recharge for a short time arc final blows extend the duration of this benefit and kind of as you can see from all the columns we have here, it seems like Arc and Void are going to be kind of the go-to this season. I know people are kind of curious if it would be Void again since we just kind of had the la this previous season of being Strand and Void. I thought they might go with Strand still, but maybe add something else to it. I, I, when I first started reading this, I was thinking it was going to be more Strand and Arc, but it seems like Void and arc are definitely going to be good and like i said strand there's some good strand abilities in here as well or you know strand perks i think you can work around a lot of different things you know not always what is in the artifact is necessarily going to be meta there's different classes that are meta that may not necessarily have perks out of the artifact there's still things that are really good but with these perks you know that in my opinion at least arc void and probably strand are going to be your go-to subclasses anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about the season of the deep artifact perks and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace